Hey fellow marketers, Professor Walters here, and today we're gonna to talk about some of the types of advertising you'll see. And I know we have another video that talks about like celebrity advertising and stuff like that, but today what we're gonna do is kind of go for more of like the basics of advertising, like the basic types that you see out there. And the three I wanna talk about, one is informative advertising, another one is persuasive advertising, and the third one is reminder advertising, which honestly, their names pretty much say it all, but to give you an idea, if you're looking at informative advertisements, these are ones that are really informing people about the brand, about the company, about the product. What does it actually do? You know, what time is Doctor Who on this weekend, right? You're giving this kind of information out. And the thing is, you might see there's important information that they need to know. Maybe it's how this product should really be used. I mean, how many of you have used a product and found out later you were doing it wrong? You're like, oh, if I would have only known. So you might think about advertising that deals with that. Or instead of how they should be using it, maybe you have a new way to use your product. Oh, now Coca-Cola, it's not just for drinking on its own. Now, why not mix it with Jack Daniels, you know, for a Jack and Coke? You could be educated on new ways to use your products. Um, also, you could be letting customers know about the service that you have or the support that goes along with it. Oh, when you book your ticket with Delta Airlines, just know that you also can visit them at delta.com or twitter.com slash delta to interact with our client help, you know? And so you just inform people about what's going on. And the thing is, you could be informing them not about good things. You could also be informing them about bad things. You know, maybe something's gone wrong. Like, hey, for your information, our store is going to be closed this week due to X, Y, or Z. But, you know, informative advertising really is just information. Getting out the ideas and the things about your value propositions and stuff like that. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. Now, you see this informative advertising a lot in the earlier stages of the industry life cycle, the product life cycle, because you have to inform people what something is, okay? Now, once you start having some competition out there, you know, later in the growth phase, especially in the maturity phase as well, you see what's called persuasive advertising. And what you're trying to do with persuasive advertising is really persuade people to choose your brand versus your competition. This is where you see the ads, right? Like, this is Bob's family goes to the store and spends $25. But at the local big box store, they spent 30. Now you see it's actually better to shop here. And so they're doing that comparison to try to persuade you to come over. And the thing is, sometimes when you use persuasive advertising, it might persuade people to think of your product in a different way. You know, years ago, when Old Spice came out with the Old Spice guy, right? I mean, Old Spice was grandpa, like my grandpa's, you know, deodorant and smell, right? And now they, they had a whole new advertising campaign to persuade people to think about their products differently. So you might look at it for you know repositioning or kind of reprogramming how people look at your products. You might use this in order to give them to switch brands, you know, to your brand from another brand, because sometimes people are very locked in with their brand. So it's gonna take you a little bit more. You gotta persuade them, give them a reason why they should come over to your side. Um, other things you might look at is, is you see a lot of persuasive advertising when it comes to social media, because we're trying to persuade people to like, share, subscribe. So hey, why don't you like, share, and subscribe this video? That's another kind of advertiser you can look at. And then the third type I want to talk about is this reminder advertising. And reminder advertising, really all it is is just reminding people, hey, we're out here. Hey, you can still buy Coca-Cola. I mean, let's be honest. Do you really need an advertisement to persuade you to buy a Coke over a Pepsi? Or do you really need an advertisement to tell you what Coca-Cola is? Oh, this thing called Coca-Cola? I don't know what that is. Of course not. And so what we're doing, and you see this in the maturity phase, you know, especially the later maturity phase, sometimes the decline phase, you're just reminding people, hey, um, we're out here. You know, it's like, oh, that's right. I need to, I need to pick up the Charmin, right? Like, oh, obviously, you know, you, you don't need to explain what a toilet paper is, right? No, but you're like, oh, yes, I got to remember to pick those things up. That's why you'll see like candy bars and soda and beer and stuff like that. They're in the maturity phase of their industry, but the ads just reminding people to keep them top of mind. So when you go to the store, you pick up the Budweiser instead of the Coors. You pick up the Twix instead of the M&Ms and stuff like that. Also, you're reminding customers that really they might need your product. Like, hey, you know, winter se winter driving season's coming. Do you have the I don't know, the, the, the salt for the driveway? Do you have your shovel? Do you have your you know, first aid kit or your emergency kit? Oh, I don't. Thank you for letting me know. You're just reminding them, hey, this could be a time to be there. How many of you wait for those sales that come up during the holidays? Like, oh yeah, now's when I should get my luggage when it's in May and everything's dirt cheap. Thanks a reminder for that Memorial Day sale luggage. 
Now, also when you're looking at reminder advertising, you might remind people where they can buy the product, um, but also you want, maybe you want to make sure that your customers don't think you forgot them. And so you might use this reminder advertising to remind them that they made the right purchase. Hey, our three year happiness guarantee, you know, our customers are the happiest customers after three years of using our car. Oh, huh, that, that sounds good. That's why when you look at things like JD Power, they're like, oh, a three year customer satisfaction award. Oh, that means they're the people that are the most happy with their cars after three years? Yes, so you made the right choice three years ago when you bought this car. Oh, thank you. So you have that. So I just wanna kind of give you these overall kind of basic ideas behind different types of uh, advertising you'll see. Do watch the other video when we talk about, you know, the, like the celebrity ads and stuff like that to get an idea why they do that. But I just thought this could help out. And I wish you all the best and have yourself a great day wherever you are. Bye.